know this is Lewis and this information is for Rob Painless but pay attention if you're watching this video because this has to do with what I'm gonna be showing because it's uh, the power for the TV is gonna be coming from here so if you want to see what's powering uh, the TV or whatever or you're interested in this type of stuff pay attention so this is the positive and the negative okay and the solar cables come from the roof down this pipe which are these two right here that they're black right there so those cables go down through here we're gonna go to the where they make it all the way down to okay so this is the positive and the negative they go down through here with the solar cables so let's follow it okay there's the red and black red and black the solar positive solar negative okay solar positive and solar negative makes it to here there it is positive and negative for the solar panel then positive and negative this is what's charging the batteries coming out of the charge controller goes back in through here exactly going down this pipe look how nice these bends are i made these <laughs> okay then it makes it to this junction box then out of the junction box here we have the positive of the solar panel and at the other end we have another black which is uh the negative of the solar panel and then here we have the positive okay that's feeding my lighting system and right here is the negative that's feeding my lighting system that's the ones that hook up there now check this out this is what powers my lighting system i'm going to put my hand here as a reference okay these are deep cycle agm batteries uh these batteries here they're usually used like for boats sometimes they use they're used like for pickup trucks um and this is it that's it this is what powers my uh system now i'm going to show uh rob he also wanted to know about the the category five heat uh ca category five e cable so i'm going to be showing that right now this is the category five e in the bottom here okay this right here is the four twisted pairs so what i do is i strip all the cables i put four of them together then i take the other four i put them together keeping color code and i make two cables for positive and negative like this as you can see this cable uh is pretty much similar to number 16 i would say and that's what i'm using to distribute now the box that you see over there it's about it's approximately about 20 years old because i've been doing this stuff like like this for a very long time uh i have uh these cables distributed throughout the entire home including the closet the bathroom everywhere okay and this was done about 20 years ago I had a builder come in here and when he saw all the friggin' pipes running through my house, he was like, what the hell is this, a spaceship? Uh, and I told him, no, it's something experimental that I'm doing because this was pretty much new technology during this time. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So hope that answers your questions. Lewis out. Okay, hello, this is Lewis. I'm back. Now I'm going to make the TV video. So thanks for your patience. This right here is a AC TV, alternating current TV. This is the TV you have in your home, the one you currently use and uh, works with alternating current AC. This here is a DC TV, a direct current TV. This one works off a 12 volt battery, okay? So this is a 12 volt TV, DC current, Here's the plug, okay? There's the plug of this TV. Looks different because it's 12 volts, okay? Uh, I set up my home as a hybrid home. So here I could go on grid, I could go off grid. Uh, I could do a lot of things here, okay? So I could run the house with generator, it doesn't matter. It's a whole bunch of stuff that I could do here. Okay, so this is a 12 volt uh, plug. I'm going to hook this up 
to the 12 volt plug. The 12 volt plug is hooked up to my 12 volt emergency lighting system. So this TV, I actually bought it as a emergency TV. That way, if there's a hurricane coming, if I saved my panels, I put them in that little bunker. Uh, you know, because I have a, a little room upstairs where I could save the solar panels just in case there's a catastrophic hurricane coming. So I put the panels in there after the uh, hurricane or whatever happens, I would have to put all those panels back. But with this system, it's only one panel. So if I put up just one panel, I have lights in my home and I could get information from the TV. During Irma, after Irma hit, there was no power. So I was listening to the radio and they kept on talking about hurricanes, hurricanes, hurricanes. Uh, but they were actually talking about Maria and I, and I thought they were talking about Irma. That's the reason why I prefer to ha get my information from a TV because two weeks later, there was another hurricane coming and I thought they were still talking about Irma on the radio. So let's plug this baby in. That's the reason I got that TV. Okay. So there we go. There's actually right here. There's a 12 volt outlet. Okay. This is an AC DC uh, hybrid home, or I turned it into AC DC hybrid home and there we go. Let me just move the light this way so you can see it. There's power there. Let's turn on the TV. Here's the TV. Here's the remote. I actually test, see, it's a free signal and transit TV. This is NBC PR. refresh sale. You'll find the style and comfort that look how nice and clear and Glam, this TV looks. House, rustic and modern and with uh, I just finished putting it in mute. Uh, I've heard on reviews about volume complaints. I don't know how loud you want your TV, but this TV sounds very, very Seven loud. Days a week at Ray Warren Flanagan's refresh sale. Look at that. And that's on 95. Live update starts now. Good morning, live look that's here the at the Lincoln volume at 100 percent Traffic's moving nicely. It's 57 Friday morning, September 25th. I'm Darlene. So there you go. This is uh, the 12 volt transit TV. I bought this as a uh, emergency TV. I want to have the option. The more options you have, the better you're prepared. And uh, like I said, I could take this TV, hook it up to uh, any car battery or any 12 volt source and uh, I got TV, okay? And as long as you have an antenna, you're set, okay? So Lewis, out.